What's up, coders, and welcome to episode 6 of our Gmail service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video, we're going to be talking about acknowledging emails. What do I mean by that? Well, it's just attending to your emails in some way. So I have six methods listed out right here. It is mark red, mark unread, mark important, mark unimportant, star, and unstar. So let's dive into the code and see what we can do. I've gone ahead and pre-written some of the code for us, so let's just review that quickly now. So these first two lines are basically all JavaScript. We're getting a new date. We're instantiating a new date object. We're storing it in this variable called last 24 hours. And then we're going to set those hours as whatever the hours are in the date minus 24. So to explain that a bit, so when we instantiate a new date, basically what's going to do is it's going to take the date whatever whenever the whatever the time is and date is when we run the when we run the program it's going to take that date take that data it's going to store it here we're going to get the hours so that would be say 13 because it's a military time and it's we're going to subtract 24 from that and that will give us a new date which will be now it will be february 19th at 119 so this this last 24 hours is just whatever the date was 24 hours ago. Great, so now this line six is threads. We've seen this before. We're just going to get an array of Gmail threads with this method get inbox threads. I'm gonna store it in a variable called threads. And then this one, this is a for of loop. So this is a new modern ECMAScript six way of writing a for loop. It's a for of loop. And we're going to get each of the threads in our array of threads and then we're going to do something to it and in our particular case we're going to set a conditional on it it says it says if thread dot get last message date is greater than 24 hours the last 24 hours so this date then we're going to do something with it so this me this method right here is something we haven't seen yet but it's basically going to get as it says the last message date of the thread so if you look at all of our threads it's basically going to get this date that's in the in the um, right hand corner here. So let's go into our code again. Let's say we want to mark certain threads as unread. So we will say thread dot mark unread. And I know that didn't that didn't autocomplete. For some reason it, the autocomplete doesn't really work so well with this new uh, ECMAScript modern JavaScript uh, with App Script again, they're, they're, they just transitioned over to the V8 runtime engine. So, but if you want to see it, then you could just type in say one of those Gmail threads and then say period and say something like mark, and then here it is mark unread, mark read, important, unimportant. Great. So that's just if you if you needed a reminder about the methods that you had, you could do it that way. Okay, great. So now we're going to mark unread all the threads that were that are within the last 24 hours. So we'll save it and we'll run it. Function ran successfully, that's good to see. Now let's go into our inbox and refresh the page and voila, there we go. We have now all of the messages that we received in the last 24 hours marked as unread. So this is kind of cool, you can apply this, say if you, if you every single morning you can just look at all of the messages again that have been sent to you in the last 24 hours. But now let's say we want to now mark them as red. So that's an easy thing to do. We'll just say mark red this time, save it, run it. It's running, ran successfully. Now let's go back into our, in our inbox. We'll refresh the page and then look, now all of them are marked as red. So that's great. So then the other two methods that we can also do is mark unimportant and then also mark important. So we'll just run through that really quickly again. The this this little button right here, this is the important or mark important button, and we'll just see what happens when we save it and we run it. There we go, ran successfully. Let's just take a look, and then there we go. All of these now are marked as unimportant. So we'll just do the other one just to be thorough, which is mark important. Save it, run it. Ran successfully, and now, if we probably refresh the page, there we go. Now all of them are marked as important. 
Great. So the other two methods that I had in the slides were star and unstar. So with these methods, you can't access these directly through the thread. You have to go into the messages themselves. So again, if you go into the messages, you can star them individually like this. So let's just do that now. And let's say thread and let's take, let's, let's use the, mes the method get messages. And then once we get, let's just take the first one just because that's easy to do. So we'll just take the first, me the first me message and we'll say dot star for now. So again, this is, this is similar to saying something like this and then get messages and then get one of them and then saying dot star. And then the other method is unstar right there. Cool. So that's basically what we're doing down here, but just with no auto completion, but that's fine. So we'll hit save, we'll hit run. Ran successfully. Now let's go into our inbox. And if we hit refresh, you can see that now all of these are marked as, or they are starred. And if we go into say this one, we can see that this is the message that was marked or that was starred. Great, so to finish off the video, we'll just do this last method, which is unstar. Hit save, hit run, ran successfully, go back into our inbox, refresh the page, and now all of these mes me messages are unstarred. So those are just a couple met methods to help you acknowledge some of your emails. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.